run away with me we're on our way to greenpoint city take my hand and see the mountains never look so pretty travel like see the world bright you'll never know if you'll never go so run away with me Roll the downtown streets and run away from GPD. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 1, Episode 6 of GLN Let's Talk. I'm your host, Baseballer, here, and today I'm with guest I.I. Darks Law. How are you doing today, Mr. Law? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I am doing amazing. Now, Mr. I.I. Darks Law is uh, in a bunch of departments, but he is high command in DHS. Um, he runs his own division there. And um, he is also, I think that's the only one you're in high command in, correct? Correct. All right, so let's start there. Uh, you run the Homeland Security Investigations. How about you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so Homeland Security Investigations uh, was passed on to me um, after the old director uh, retired from THS. Um, and uh, basically, we do a lot of investigation work, and um, we recently uh, made a new subdivision in there, uh, which I'm sure we'll talk about later. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we do a lot of uh, investigating and yeah, we got some new systems in place. It's a really cool uh, division to see grow. All right. And um, we, we had um, Mr. Fury Lionfish on here just a few weeks ago. Um, so how about you tell us about... He told us a little bit, but what can you tell us about the Phony Intelligence Task Force? Um, you want to tell us, like, what they do, all that? Yeah, so uh, the Felony Intelligence Task Force uh, was kind of created um, when a user DM'd me and um, decided that uh, they would like to create a new system to make HSI more uh, professional and more um, RP-driven. Um, and I kind of liked, I extremely liked the idea. And um, from there, I decided to take it up with Fury himself. and. Um, we kind of decided on creating a task force um, designated to taking down individuals uh, with uh, like felony crimes. So F, uh, like uh, baseballer said, FITF is Felony Intelligence Task Force. Um, and it's kind of driven off the RAS system, uh, which is report, uh, analyze, uh, sharing system. Um, which is just basically uh, more documents and stuff to, you know, make people who enjoy investigating and working in a small group of people um, to take down individuals, like, more fun for them and more, like I said, RP-driven. Um, yeah, but FITF is mainly uh, just a task force to take down uh, individuals who have committed mass felony crimes. Um, and, yeah, we just uh, investigate it and take them down. All right, and the um, we were talking to Fury uh, a few weeks ago, like I said, a few minutes ago, but um, he said that he kind of wanted to do a few things with FITF, so it, I know you haven't seen the episode yet since it hasn't been released to the public, but by the time this goes out, it has, so if you want to see that later on, you can. Um, but we're going to switch over here to ESU. Now, um, if my sources are correct, you are the tactical medical director there, correct? Yes. All right. And what kind of, first off, what scenes do the tactical medics go to? Um, so Tacman, uh, um, you are very, um, obviously, uh, trained in tactical situations. Uh, but on top of that, we train our agents to, uh, for, um, like mass shootings, um, respond to stabbings, 
um, anything that would be uh, called out for ESU, we basically respond to that. Um, we have been known to respond to basic medical basic medical emergencies such as um, motor vehicle accidents with officers involved and stuff like that. We don't do a lot of work with civilians. Uh, we mostly just do a lot of work with uh, officers because um, usually our officers are more geared to taking down the civilians. And once they're dead, obviously they despawn. Mm -hmm. and a lot of them don't come back and RP it. But the people who do come back and RP it, we're happy to RP with them and um, yeah, do our best medical work we can. So we, I mean, we don't respond to normal FD calls, like obviously like a house fire or building fire, anything like that. We just mostly respond to tactical situations where people are sick, injured, or, you know, dead. All right. And um, I know you've been um, high command in a few different departments. Um, and I believe you were a deputy news director there at GLN for a while. Um out of all the places you've worked for, would you say DHS is the is the best that you like enjoying to work there? Um, you know, I can't really say. Um, I was high command for quite a few departments, obviously, like baseballer said. With um, and then I took a break from Greenpoint just after I, um did my service with uh, GLN. Um, and then I came back and decided to come to DHS. I enjoy it here. I've worked my way up to field chief. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't really say it's the best department, but I can't really say it's the worst department. Um, I mean, I think we're, I mean, obviously it's cool to work for one of the biggest departments in Greenpoint. Um, and there's a few departments that I'd love to be a high command member in. Um, yeah. But, I, I mean, DHS is, is cool, and uh, I've really got to know a lot of the high command members here, um, and obviously grown enough in the department to where I could run my own division and subdivision and um, be high commanded pretty much all of the divisions here in uh, DHS. So um, I think it's cool, and uh, yeah. All right, and kind of brings me into my um, next question. According to... My, a source I have within DHS, you joined the department on um, 1025, I believe. So that would be last year, I hope. And uh, that would be what? Uh, that would be... October, September, whatever. Uh, Something around those lines. It's October, yeah. So it would be October... October 25th, and uh, you started as high command there on um, December 17th, so... Yes. That makes me into my next question, kind of. How, how long have you been in Greenpoint, and how did you find it? Um, so, I've been in Greenpoint since probably 2020... 2019 um i can't remember specifically um but i did find it one day i was just scrolling through youtube and i typed in police games in the search bar and uh some of you may know these, this person but uh nano laws came up and uh i'm like this seems like a pretty cool game it had a winter update so i clicked on his video and i started watching it and i'm like this is a really cool game i want to join so i joined and um I mean, I had had a little bit of fun, and then I took a break from it to work on uh, some other stuff in my life. And um, then my friend Calvin um, joined back, and he goes, hey, you should join this community. And I'm like, oh, I know that community. So I joined back, and that's when I started to really get into departments, and I became high command for five or six departments. I was having fun. and. Um, Again, some unexpected stuff came up in my life, and I just had to uh, take a little break from Greenpoint. And now I'm back, and I'm hopefully here for a while. All right, and uh... all right, and um, 
That leads me to my next question. How many times have you patrolled as air unit? I see your air five there. Um, I patrol every once in a while. It's not uh, super. Um, it's not my super like active area in DHS. Um, I use it mostly for special situations, such as like a shooter on top of the building. It's nice just to take a unit up there, but uh, I've I patrol maybe ten to fifteen times every two months. All right, and uh, that okay. And for DHS, uh, what kind of made you want to become a high command? Were you just given the opportunity, or did you have to? I don't know. You just didn't want to at first, but then once you got into it, you really wanted Um, I was kind of brought into the department by Calvin. Um, he really influenced me to join the department, and I did. And uh, when the opportunity came up, um, I first did not apply um, because I was back new to Greenpoint again, I had to get used to some stuff before I decided to become a high command for the department and get more um, opportunity. Um, but then December 11th or 12th, I believe, high command applications came out and I was ready by then to apply. And I did. And uh, here I am today. All right. And uh, that kind of reminds, sorry, there's some fucking maniacs. Uh, anyways, uh, that kind of reminds me, um, what you said earlier, uh, if you guys don't know who Nano Laws is, he was the old news director, uh, his music played at the beginning, he was the one singing that, it's also gonna play at the end here, but, you know, and, uh, that leads me to my last question here, with, uh, DHS, okay, so, we know you've been in DHS for a while, and you're a field chief, right? And yes. your call sign, you're the ninth in command, I believe it is. And um, that, what entails within your role and what's your duties as a field chief and just within DHS? Yeah, so field chief is the first rank uh, of like starting internal affairs. Um, so any, any people that are field chiefs um, get trained within internal affairs. And um, they are now held to a higher standard now that they are internal affairs. Um, so that's the first duty. Um, and then um, as a field chief or a senior field chief, you are assigned to a uh, operation. So that could be like chief of administration or assistant chief of administration or training operations or staffing team um, or internal affairs. So. Um, you could be, or subdivision coordinator, I forgot about that. Um, but you could be any of those uh, within the department. So I currently am held at assistant chief of administration. Um, and uh, my partner, Snow, is uh, the assistant chief of training operations. So um, basically with that, now we help BOD and senior field chiefs um, kind of run those, I don't want to, like, sub departments i would say in the department um so that's partially what we do as well um but a lot of it too is now um you're like the big man on the street so um making sure you're giving out exceptional service and exceptional um like i guess like leadership within the department and um overseeing tickets um overseeing investigations now since we're ia um and you know we're just um trying to stay active like high command um yeah i mean basically we hold the same duties as high command um just with a little extra couple of duties such as like i said before ia and um those sub departments um and yeah now we're able to um take care of database um for people and role requests so we do a lot of those as well um they, i mean yeah it's just it's a fun department and uh yeah i mean every rank you go up there's a little bit more responsibility and more professionalism that is required um 
but that's mainly our responsibilities and duties. All right. Well, I want to thank you for taking your time out and uh, talking with me for this past 15 minutes. This has been Deal on Let's Talk, Season 1, Episode 6. Guys, listen, listen, listen. Whatever you heard there, that was not a voice crack. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, I just had a little yelp, okay? That was not a voice crack, okay? Not a voice crack. Okay, now I'm going to continue, okay? And if any of you tell me that was a voice crack, just just don't because it, it wasn't. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no proof for that. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue. Let's continue. Talk season one, episode six. This has been your host, Baseballer here, and thank you for coming. On away with me. We're on our way to Greenpoint City. Take my.